Welcome back to another video. Today, we will learn how to style text, such as bold, italic, highlight, cut, and much more, with HTML which is called text formatting. And also discuss lists. Let's start with text formatting. Let's talk about a few useful text formatting tags that you might find interesting. Let's take P tag and write this as the normal text between the opening and closing tags. Now copy this P element and paste it nine times. We'll start with the B tag, which is used to make text bold. Simply surround the text you want to make bold with the B opening and closing tags. Next, we have the I tag, which is used for italicizing text. Surround the text you want to make italic with the I tags. You can also make text appear bigger or smaller using the big and small tags, respectively. Just enclose the text with the appropriate tags. To small text, you can use the small tag. Surround the text you want to small with the small tags. For subscript the text, we use the sub tag. Surround the text you want to subscript with the sub tags. Next we have sub tag to superscript the text. Surround the text you want to superscript with the sub tags. To underline text, you can use the ins tag. Surround the text you want to underline with the ins tags. If you want to strike through text, you can use the del tag. Place the text you want to strike through between the del tags. Lastly, we have the mark tag, which highlights or marks the specified text. Wrap the text you want to mark with the mark tags. Those are a few text formatting tags that you can use in HTML. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Alright, now we will learn how to make a list in HTML. There are three types of lists, unordered lists, ordered lists, and description lists. For an unordered list, we use the alt tag. Inside the alt tag, we place each list item between lead tags. The list items will be displayed with bullet points. For an ordered list, we use the OL tag. Similarly, we place each list item between lead tags within the OL tag. The list items will be displayed with numbers or other ordered markers. Lastly, for a description list, we use the DL tag. Inside the DL tag, we use the DT tag to define the term or item, and the DD tag to provide the description or details. Let's start with unordered lists. To create an unordered list, you simply use a pair of all tags. Within these tags, you can add individual list items using lead tags. For example, let's consider a list of items for making a tea. We can list the items such as milk, water, and sugar. Each item is enclosed in lead tags to create the list. Additionally, you can create nested lists within a list. For instance, if you want to add a sublist of water to an unordered list item, you can create another unordered list within it. Here's an example. Water. Sublist 1. Sublist 2. Sublist 3. In this case, the main list item is water, and it contains a nested list. Next, let's talk about ordered lists. For that copy this code and paste it for ordered list. Similar to unordered lists, but it has one difference which is ordered lists use ol tags. Each list item is represented by lee tags. By default, the list items are numbered in ascending order. For instance, if we have a to-do list, we can use ol and lead tags to list the tasks we need to complete, such as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The list items are automatically numbered. If you want to change the numbering style, you can use the type attribute within the OL tag. You can set the type to display numbers, letters, or even Roman numerals. For example, setting type equals capital A will display the list items with capital letters. 
For example, setting type equals small a will display the list items with small letters. Lastly, let's discuss description lists. To create a description list, you use DL tags. Within these tags, you use DT tags to define the term or item, and DD tags to provide the description or details associated with each term. In description lists, we use DT tags for the term and DD tags for the definition. Instead of using lead tags, we enclose the term within DT tags and add the corresponding definition between DD tags. For example, let's consider a list of web development languages. To define a term, we use DT tags, and for the definition, we use DD tags. Here's an example. Term, HTML. Definition, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Term, CSS. Definition, CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Term, JavaScript. Definition, JavaScript is used to add functionality. Each item in a description list consists of a term and its definition. So, that's how you work with unordered lists, ordered lists, and description lists in HTML. Remember, unordered lists use all and lead tags, ordered lists use ol and lead tags with automatic numbering, and description lists use dl, dt, and dd tags to define terms and their descriptions. So, that's how you create different types of lists in HTML unordered, ordered, and description lists. Use the appropriate tags, such as ol, ol, dl, dt, and dd, depending on the type of list you want to create. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.